we're going to do five sorting algorithms. Quick sort, simple sort, selection sort, bubble sort, and insertion sort. And how to remember them so you will never, ever forget them. Or get them mixed up, which is the main thing. When you see them, they're easy to, you're like, oh yeah, I've seen someone do that with cards. That's fine, I can, I can do that. And then a month later, you'd be like, wait, was that quick sort or bubble sort or what was that? So that is the purpose of this video. It's not just how to do them, but how you will never forget them. So picture this. In the computer science lab, let's say, by this shelf, slumped against the shelf, is a simple Santa Claus who has, he's looking at two lists. One of them says bold list or bad, you know, his naughty list. And the other has small things because he's not, he's not your classic Santa Claus. He's, he's been doing this too many years now and he's figured out that children are small and they go on the small things list. He's sort of gone off the rails a little bit. Um, the reason I want you to remember this image is because that's how simple sort works. You have an unsorted list and you take the small thing and you put it on the small list over here. That's it. It's that simple, hence the simple name. Okay, let's do that with cards. So for the simple sort, I start off with an unsorted list of cards and numbers. I find the small thing, there it is, and I put it down onto this other empty list. And then I just repeat, find the small thing, three, bring it down. So I'm finding the minimum in this unsorted list, and then, you know, you just put it, you add it, you append it onto this. Find the minimum, seven here, append. So apply some glue, stick it on the end. And there we go. Look, there is a sorted list. That was simple. That was a simple sort. Now we've all been the victim of a selection sort at some part in our lives. You, you, you go to give away something and just before you do it, you just look to the right and go, mm, hang on, is there anything smaller I can give them? And if there is, you swap it. And then you pretend you were going to give them that one anyway. And that's it. It's like, you, that sounds familiar. Okay, let's do that with cards. So we've got an unsorted list of numbers here. We're looking at the first one here and I'll just use a marker underneath there to denote that we're, we're looking at that one right now. We'll move on through. So if someone asks you, can they have this? And you're like, yeah, here, wait a second. Just before I give you that one, is there anything here that it would be an ace? There, that's smaller. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap these two and pretend that's what the order was. Yeah, you can have that one, just like that. And then you move the marker on, and they're like, can I have another one? You're like, yeah, here, wait a second. Yeah, let me see. Yes, why don't you have this three? Yeah, here you go, here you go. And you keep going through, and you just think, is there anything? Okay, actually, five is fine, they can have that one. Six is fine, they can have that one. Seven, actually, do you know, like, they're all, they're, they're, yeah, it's fine. Those last ones were kind of sorted. So there you go. And uh, they, they, you got your sorted list. So that's uh, the selection sort, selection box sort. And to remember this sort, I, I want you to picture across from Santa, about a meter or two, is a child with just marker all over her face who looks a little bit disenfranchised as if her brother has performed the selection box sort and she's ended up with one or two of the smaller bars while he's scoffing away on like the mad big one like so. Um, yeah, just the marker is to remind you that the marker goes under the first card, like actually on the first card, and then you move it through, okay? So you're picturing the simple Santa and across from them, the poor toddler, the victim of the selection box sort. And I want you to picture you're lying over the lap of Santa Claus is a hippie, just blowing bubbles, having a great time. Bubble sword isn't the most efficient sort of algorithm. It's kind of something you might do sitting out in the grass with a deck of cards, if you all morning in the sunshine. Oh yeah, it's time to sort stuff. You take your two fingers, you put them down on those cards, the first two, one and two. Think about how the morning's going. Not so bad. Are those cards sorted? If they're not, go ahead and flip them. Swap them over. If they are sorted, 
That's cool. Leave them right there. And you move on to cards two and three. You see how I left an overlap there? Can you see why I said over the lap of Santa Claus? To remind you, you leave that overlap there. Because cards two and three, if they're not, if they're not sorted, you go ahead and you flip them over. If they are sorted, you leave them right there. And you go in pairs, and pairs, and pairs, and pairs, leaving an overlap every time. You get to the end, you look back in the cards, they're probably not sorted. But it's okay. Sometimes it takes a few, a few goes to get something done, so you go back to the start, you take the first two cards, the next, the next, the next. Have another look. Are those cards sorted? If not, go back to the start. It may take five cycles to do five cards, it may take one cycle to do five cards. It's like life, it depends on what cards you get. But there's no need to panic. It will get done. Let's do that with some cards. So I take the first two cards, I have a look. They're not quite sorted, so I'm gonna swap those. There we go. That's the first two done. Then you take the next two. Nah, they're not really sorted, I'm gonna swap those. And that's those done. You take the next two. You see how I'm leaving that little overlap every time? not even going to move them down. And the last one, yeah, I'm going to have to swap those. It's not quite right yet. I'm going to go back to the start. I'm going to do it all again. These two, yep, there we go. These two, yeah, they're actually okay now. Yep. These two, mm, yeah, I'm going to swap those. Two. Yeah, I'm gonna swap this. You see how uh, you see how these cards here are slowly floating up into position. They're bubbling up into the right place. That's where it gets its name, the bubble sword. So I'm gonna swap these. Let this four bubble up here and ace bubble down the other way. And there we are, it's all done. The next sorting algorithm is the insertion behind enemy lines sort, as in uh, you cross the border and then you sort of just get an order, kind of like bubble sort. So let's just see this with cards. So with this one, I take my marker here and instead of putting it on the toddler's face uh, like in the selection sort, I'm going to make a border here. So this is going to be my border. Uh, it's going to be in between the first two cards. And what happens is uh, the card nearest the border crosses the border and then gets in order. So it looks to the left and goes, yeah, yeah, that's right. That makes sense. Okay. So the reason the marker was between the teeth of the drill sergeant must remind you that that card goes in between the first two. It's not under it or on it. So this guy here crosses the border, uh, stands in formation here, then looks over his shoulder and goes, oh, crap. There we go. All right, he's happy. He looks over his shoulder. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're good. We're good, good. So he just does a quick comparison with the card to the left. Okay, so this two goes across the border, gets into formation, stands there for a bit, looks over its shoulder, goes, oh, wait a second. Let's just swap there, if you wouldn't mind. Grant gets to attention, and oh, crap, just looks over there. And it just sort of makes its way down by swapping when the drill sergeant isn't looking. It just ducks under the next person until it's happy. It looks to the left and doesn't see anything that's bigger than it, okay? So the idea here is when I cross this border, it compares itself with the adjacent cards and keeps swapping all the way down until it gets an order in there. And finally the ace will cross the border, swap, 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 
all the way down. It's kind of like bubble sword except going, going backwards like that. And for that one, I want you to imagine a drill sergeant who's been inserted behind enemy lines. He's used to shouting and he's got a marker in between his teeth to remind you of that in between the first two cards. And he's just shouting at that poor toddler because he's working for Donald Trump. And that's what immigration officers do when they work for Donald Trump. They shout at people on the border. So, um, yeah, the last one here is easier to explain on a diagram rather than just cards. So the idea here it was you've got Ross Geller from Friends dressed up as the Flash. That's to remind you that it's quick. He's trying to be quick. I, I couldn't think of anything better. And uh, he likes to shout pivot a lot. If you've seen Friends, you can just YouTube that if you don't know the reference. And uh, that's because in this sorting algorithm, we use a pivot. Here's what happens. So we've got a list of numbers here. And whatever is at the end becomes the pivot. It could be a one, it could be a 10, who knows? Just by virtue of being the last card, it is now the pivot. Here's what you do. You take this pivot and you create three lists. Smaller than pivot, same as pivot, pivot, bigger than pivot. And then you do the exact same thing again and you just keep doing that. So you can see the nine, the five, the six, the eight, these are going into the bigger than the pivot list. And we don't have any threes to join the three in there. We just have smaller than three. So everything else goes in the smaller than three one. And then you go down the tree here and you do the same. So on this block of unsorted numbers, you take the last one, that is now the pivot. You put in the middle and you create three lists. So smaller than one, same as one, bigger than one. And you keep going, you keep going until you get to the end. The five is our pivot just because it's at the end. We put that in the middle. Then we create our three lists, smaller than five, same as five, bigger than five. So smaller than five, smaller than five, smaller than five, bigger than five, bigger than five, bigger than five. So we've now got three lists and we do the same again. The ace here, well, that's an unfortunate thing to have as a pivot. You'll, you'll figure this out that if you get like an extreme app, at the pivot, it's kind of like your worst case scenario because it's not really going to help a lot. When I move that down, both of them are going to be bigger. In this case, it was fine because we were at the end, but that would have been like the least helpful thing. Um, you love for your pivot to end up sort of in the middle if possible. So what are we going to do with this guy? Well, he's our pivot. <laughs> yeah, again, we've ended up with the extreme. So he's going to go down there and we're going to make our three lists smaller than, smaller than, but of course they're going to be both smaller than because 10 is the biggest cards. And actually, we have ended up getting it all sorted just like that, okay? So the thing to remember with this one is you would hope that your pivot isn't at the extreme, either very small or very, very high in, in the list, and, and that it's kind of like the average. So in summary, to finish, what you should remember is somewhere, maybe in a computer lab by the shelf, a simple Santa Claus with two lists, one unsorted, one small things, and he's writing in children on the small things just because they're small. So that's the simple sort. Put the small things, find the middle one, put it on the list. You've got the hippie lying over his lap, blowing bubbles, making the peace sign. That's to remind you that it's a bubble sort, but also that there's, you know, you're using your two fingers to go in pairs, and that there's an overlap as you go. You've got the insertion sort. Uh, the drill sergeant with the marker in between his teeth and he's shouting uh, and that's remind you by the way that it's between the first and, and uh, second card is where you're going to put that border that's where you put your marker okay and then goes across the border get in order and he's shouting at this poor toddler who's been disenfranchised by an older sibling or somebody who's um, given done the, the selection box sort and was about to give her something, but then looked to the right and swapped up the smallest one before handing it over. And she's ended up with all the smallest things. And finally, there's Ross from Friends, who is standing on the end of uh, Santa's very long unsorted list. And that's to remind you that the pivot is at the end of the list. He's dressed as a flash, which I guess is quick. I couldn't think of anything better. So that's it, you are sorted.